Hey guys. We are back y'all. We had to take a three month healthy break to, you know, get our routine down and everything, our household under control basically. Yeah, because we were losing our minds. Like there was no pause, break, nothing. Come watch this kid please so we can just get five minutes. No, 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 no. Just go and go and go and go and we go. Were, we were literally pushed to the edge and teetering on it the whole time until we figured out literally we there was no time for any hobbies and any relax just relax for no no it was go non-stop on the edge of your seat the whole time i know until we got a routine yep from now that we're back we are very excited to update you guys on pretty much what's been going on in these past three months yep. as far as like recovering from the c-section postpartum and we are going to tiptoe back uh -huh. to where we left off though yes we are yeah. uh to catch you guys up and stuff like that but mm -hmm. we do got something exciting for our youtube subscribers we are going to introduce our baby girl i can't wait uh, so you guys get to meet her and see her. She's so perfect. I love her so much. God bless her. She sleeps all night. I know. She's definitely my mini, you say? <laughs> yeah, because you sleep all night too. I know. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be introducing her. So we can't wait for you guys to meet her. And we're just excited to be back and catch you up. And it's fun. It's going to be a good time, guys. So if you guys have watched any of my videos, um, you would know that I had a C-section, Our first, the first go-round with our son, Liam, mm -hmm. because he was breached. So I really yeah. didn't get a choice to decide which way I wanted to go. And how did that affect you not having a choice? So let's talk about that. You know, <laughs> all right. Let's all right. talk about it. Yeah, because <laughs> well, you felt like your choice was taken away from you. I did. And it messed you up. And I was hurt. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I was always scared of having like a vaginal birth. So I already wanted to do an elective C-section. Uh, but and the MVP, Dr. Algerdi. I know. I love my doctor. Calmed uh, you the whole time. He did. So even if I did have a choice, I probably would have went with the C-section. Just because I just feel like... I don't know, just the whole thought of that just makes me like scared, you know? I have no pain tolerance I, whatsoever. I don't, you know, and I'm like hear all these horror stories about the epidural wore off and things like that. I'm like, oh no, that can't be me. Like I won't survive. I won't make it, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this time around, it was an elective C-section. Mm -hmm. Baby girl was healthy, thriving, doing well. Uh, we decided risk factor, factors were lower. Um, just uh, There was a the lot comfort, of things that could go wrong. Right. Yeah. So, you know, weighing the pros and cons, I felt like the C-section would be best. But don't let her fool you because, and she might be mad that I cut her off, but it literally came down to the week before our daughter was here for her to decide. She kept going back and forth with the doctor. The doctor's playing tennis with her ideas. And <laughs> It literally. was, everybody was just like, what are you going to do? Just tell us what you want to do. When I say every time I went to a doctor's visit, I was asking my doctor, like, help me. I don't know what to do. He was like, honey, if I had a, a, a ball, I would tell you, but I cannot make this decision for you. So after Ray, you know, going through the pros and cons, it was best. It's another thing I was struggling with for my current moms or moms that, you know, are getting ready to have their first child. I really struggled with, uh, you know, going back and forth with having a vaginal and a cesarean just because the stigma that's around it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, cesarean moms have it easier and we don't. Recovery is hell, even though, you know, my recovery was okay. Um, it's just a lot that comes with having a cesarean. Like, that's like major surgery. You so. say your recovery was okay, but you still went through it. I, I, like me standing back, you guys gave birth. Like, it's amazing what you guys do, what you put your body through, but you all go through it and you bring a healthy baby into the world, that's the, the most important thing. And that's what I feel like, you know, it don't matter. It doesn't matter as long as, long as you get the baby here healthy mm -hmm. and mama's good after, that's all that matters, you know? Yeah. So all that stigma and stuff, I'm sick of it, I'm done with it. Mamas, no matter what decision you guys decide to make on how to bring your baby into this world, you're awesome at the end you of the day. You guys are amazing. Okay, you rock. So recovery for me, it was not bad at all. We had, we were blessed to have a lot of family support, so that was great. Um, even though hubby was only able to be off for a week, we got through it and um, everything went okay. Um, recovery for C-sections are typically four to six weeks. I tend to think that they're like a lot longer just because, you know, you had major surgery, so you can't just get up to your regular routine. Yeah, your abdomen was ripped open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, you can't lift, you can't do anything. It's, and with a 25 pound child already in the house, it made it a little bit more difficult, but, the grandparents really stepped up yeah they did and i was really you know i'm really grateful for that and for them um for me though i was up and walking after the second week just because there was a lot playing into that you guys know that we have a toddler i needed to still tend to him and i was also dealing with like a lot of guilt mm -hmm. when not being able to uh, be with him like i wanted to and things like that so it was kind of brutal for me it was i was going through a lot a lot of emotions during that time and i just had to, it was just hard like 
it, there was so many factors into it. Mm -hmm. I, before we had COVID, I was home. I was here for three months after our son was born. It was a blessing because I was able to be here for her. Mm -hmm. it, it was great. And mm -hmm. Men should be able to take that time off without repercussions to their job to support their family. I mean, you guys give up so much. Right. And why can't we do that without having it negatively affect our careers? Exactly. Or it's just childbirth in general, be able to take that time off to care for the children. Yeah, it's just not fair. Dads deserve to be evil with the baby and mom during the whole entire process. So. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I'm sensitive. I, my family, my kids, everything come before everything. And this second go around was a little bit rougher for me. I feel like you did good. You were taken care of. Your needs were fulfilled. I mean, I did. Okay. I did good. Mm -hmm. I did okay. But you, you had a healthy recovery. I would definitely say I had a healthy recovery. Yeah, I went through it. I did. I Why was did you go through it because I couldn't be here for my wife. I couldn't be here for my son and my newborn daughter. Right. And I had to go right back to work, and yeah. the toll it took on me mentally was it was pretty rough i know but we're grateful for you babe because if it wasn't for you returning back to work then i wouldn't have been able to stay home with the baby i can't even imagine having to um, go back to work right after having a baby like i was nursing her she's literally attached to my hip 24 7 so i would just yeah you see, babe. Love you. but um <sighs> the bigger point is if you have two i feel like something you struggled with mm -hmm was Liam. That weighed so heavy on me, guys. Oh, I was, it, it weighed very, very And she heavy would call me. me at work. Even if he was with a grandparent, whatever, she felt like she was not giving Liam the attention he deserved too. Yeah, I felt like I was literally neglecting my son. And for first time moms and moms that, you know, getting ready to have their second baby, you might struggle with that. I know I struggled with it heavily. I would cry. The thing is, you can, you're can. you human. You have to give yourself that time to heal. You do. You have to take care of yourself before you can care for somebody else. And that's all the piece of advice that I want to give to these moms that's working on their second child is that it's okay for you to take that break and focus on that new baby and still tend to your toddler. You are not neglecting them. You are not. You know, doing them wrong or anything like that yeah. all right guys so you've sat through this video and I know everybody's been waiting yes it is time to introduce baby girl baby girl Luna Ella Grace hi mama you ready hey you say hi to the people you ready <laughs> <laughs> this baby is something else yeah she uh sleeps through the night trying to sit up already already on her own at three months plays with her toys it's hitting all her milestones she's yeah she's she's flourishing trying to roll over right talking oh <laughs> yeah and, but uh, um daddy's got a guilty comment to make what She'd be trying to sit up and I push her back down. Stop. <laughs> but yeah, this is baby girl and we just wanted you guys to meet her and look at this baby. She's already about to get fussy. Look at that baby. Isn't she perfect? <laughs> Who she look like, y'all? More. Daddy. Daddy. Got my eyes, right? These jeans strong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we just wanted to introduce baby girl and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we will see you in our next. We'll see you guys next week. Can you say bye, Luna? Bye.